<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, live from Montreal, Michael Livschitz. <laughs> Good evening. I'm very happy to be here this evening. Um, so just to tell you guys a little bit about myself to start. Uh, as Beryl said, my name is Michael uh, Lipschitz. Um, and I do have a physical disability, it's a condition from birth called multiple congenital musculoskeletal abnormalities, or as it's better called, kind of messed up. And um, <laughs> the, the reason why I mentioned that is, A, I realize people can be a little bit curious about why I have the cane, and B, if you don't realize that I myself am disabled, the rest of these jokes are going to make me sound like a complete jerk. So I just <laughs> wanted to get that out of the way. Now I realize kind of messed up is not really politically correct, but I think we've gone a little bit too far with the whole political correctness. Um, the one I really hate is when they say challenged, and I will explain to you why. We all face challenges in life which means if we all face challenges in life, that means we all are challenged. And if we all are challenged, then where the heck am I gonna park? It becomes a very big problem. So, <laughs> I, um, but while I'm on the topic of parking, um, I want to address a common misconception that seems to be going on. Um, putting your flashers on does not make it okay to park in the disabled parking, because if anything, like, Without the flashers, we could think, okay, well, you know, you, you just didn't realize it. With the flashers, we think you're just a jerk and didn't care. So it doesn't really help. And then, like, the excuses you, that people come up with, like, I'm just running in for two minutes. That's like kind of rubbing it in. Ha ha, I can run. That's not really <laughs> nice. Um, and um, while we're talking about disabled parking and accessibility, getting around Montreal. The thing I don't get is the places that have uh, on the doors, they have like a disabled symbol, but no button to open the door. It's kind of like saying, if you can figure out how to get in, we will serve you. I, I don't know. <laughs> the door I really liked though was, it's a dental clinic near where I live, and what I found weird was that they have four signs all together. Interact, Visa, MasterCard, and the disabled symbol. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're now using us as currency. I, um, it's kind of like your root canal is 1195 or four triple people. <laughs> or uh, maybe three if they'll throw in the parking sticker. I don't know. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? I, I, actually, I actually want to comment on this Noni. Uh, no more. I think this is great because realistically anything to help join so I'll, I'll try anything I can really like I mean, uh, <laughs> can't hurt so I figured that was great um, I find it very interesting people's reaction to people with disabilities like I'll be in the grocery store and people will come up to me and they'll see me in the wheelchair and they'll ask me oh do you have MS because I know someone in a wheelchair and they have MS Imagine if all doctors worked like this, like all of a sudden women would be getting prostate cancer because the patient they had this morning uh, had that, like it wouldn't make any sense, right? And then inevitably the next question is always, it's John, do you know him? Guys, people with disabilities, we don't all know each other. <laughs> we don't have a secret little club. We don't have a secret handshake. Um, we were going to, but the quadriplegics felt left out. Um, <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, we're going to try something. We're going to do disabled improv. If you guys can give me a topic, and I will give you a disabled perspective, and hopefully it'll be funny. So can I have a volunteer give me a topic? Flying an airplane. Flying an airplane. Okay. <laughs> Do you really want me flying the airplane? <laughs> Do you? But actually, while you're on the topic of airplanes, I actually don't like airplanes, not because of the, um, because I'm afraid of flying, just because when you got this amount of metal on you and in you, the metal detector really is difficult to get through. And I mean, honestly, they, they checked me out so carefully 
And I don't understand it because it's like an hour flight Montreal to Toronto, right? <laughs> Honestly, in the time I get from my seat to the cockpit, the plane's landed, everyone's in baggage. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do realistically? I even once had that someone, they made me take off the shoe, my shoes. I'm like, I can't even miss my shoes. What, are, what am I going to possibly do? Uh, so yeah, that was ridiculous. Um, but any other topics? Dance. Dance? I actually do dance because I actually am living the male man's greatest dream because no one's going to criticize how I dance, right? They're going to be, wow, you dance well, right? So it's fantastic. <laughs> I actually am living the male dream, uh, which is actually kind of cool. I will take one more topic. Can you be a dance politician? Dance for us. Dance now? That's a whole different video and this is family oriented, so I can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can you be a politician? Uh, a politician? <laughs> Don't get me started on government. You guys want to go home. <laughs> <laughs>